Hi everybody, I will be posting my beginning of the month Zodiac videos tomorrow, March 1st. They will start going up around 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. And someone's coming out of stagnant energy, so that's good. You're being pushed out of stagnant energy right now. You've been stagnant and things are about to change for you finally. Things are starting to move forward for you. Could be with money, with love, with you know multiple areas of your life. Things are finally starting to move forward for you. So I just want to say with the, with these readings, um, this may or may not be your reading. If you're following my, uh, you know, specific zodiac sign, and you've been, you've been following me over the last few months, and I channel your um, your a specific uh, energy group for your zodiac sign, it's possible that's your story, but that this isn't your story. So I just want to put that out there. Um, that this may or may not be for you. This, these are just kind of random. I just let the cards say what they want to say and just trust that they're going to find who they're meant to find. So so keep that in mind, you know, if you want to stick around and um, keep following my regular Zodiac videos, those, that might be your story and your energy group, and this may or may not be. So these are, again, these are always random, so I don't, I don't know who these are for. I just let the cards say what they want to say. So let's see what they want to tell you. Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, okay, that's good. The Hierophant, okay, that's way out of balance, I'm sorry. <laughs> Temperance, Angel of the De La Nude. And this deck, that actually means um, the light after um, the darkness, you know? Like a new sunrise. So this is a really good card. Five of Cups. This is, I think this is an energy of where you want to let something go. I think you're letting a king of swords go. You wanted to build something with them, but now you're not wanting it so much. You're recognizing that this isn't for you anymore, that you don't want it anymore. Or this could be, it could be a woman too that's just in masculine energy, you know, it could be male or female. But yeah, it could also be an air sign that you're letting go. Clarify the Hierophant here. Judgment. Making a judgment call. Okay. What else? Oops, sorry. The sun. Okay. So you need to make a judgment call about something and you need to move forward with the sun. When you make this judgment call, that's when you're going to move forward. So the Hierophant is all about like society and traditions and doing things the conventional way. And you need to make a judgment call regarding that. And if you do make a judgment call, you're going to be going forward towards love after you've made that judgment call. I almost feel like this is someone that tried to, this could be past energy. So this doesn't necessarily mean that this is someone you just let go of. You could have let go of this person months ago. It might just be um, clarifying that this is your reading because sometimes, you know, the spirit guides will do that. They'll just... They'll tell you something that's that resonates with you so that you know it's your reading and so that you don't doubt what comes after this. So you might already know all of this, but I feel like there was someone that was kind of trying to control you here a little bit. They might have been trying to control your finances. This could be like a friend or a family member that tried to control your finances or tell you how to live your life or tell you what to do with your money. Or this could be like a partner that was trying to control your finances or just someone that was like someone that was just trying to get you to do things a certain way with the Hierophant here. It's possible that this could also be an energy. So this might not be a person. For some of you, this is a person that was trying to control you or trying to steal from you or trying to tell you how to live your life, trying to just trying to tie you down, trying to limit you in some ways. They might have been insecure and kind of jealous of your power and your um, 
ability to succeed because you're the ten of pentacles here like you're getting you've either gotten a lot of money um recently or you're going to get a lot of money this year like you're gonna be making money like you have a lot of abundance coming towards you and this person might feel that and be jealous of it or they might want a piece of that pie pretty much like they might want to you know they see that you're about to be doing well and they want to they want a piece of that and so it's kind of like you know be mindful of who your your frenemies might be here. Um, it could be a partner. But for some of you, this isn't a person. For some of you, it's a person. For others, it's an energy. For others of you, I feel like you are on the path to getting this Ten of Pentacles. You're, you know, graduating college um, or um, starting a new business or a new career or um, a promotion at work or just, just financial success and abundance this year. Well, you're, you're kind of on the page, you know, you're on the page, you're on the path to that, <laughs> you know, with the page of wands and the ten of pentacles here, you are on the path to that. There could even be some kind of passionate message or something or some kind of offer here that leads you to this. But um, could also be a warning that if you get an offer for something tied to finances like this, that you need to be mindful that this person might have other motives, like they might try to control you, or they might um, you might get like a, a job offer or like a business partnership offer or um, some kind of new something with finances or something with success or some kind of partnership. And it, you might want to be mindful of this person's energy because they might actually be... Um, they might be wanting to get something from you. Like they might want to be kind of piggybacking off your success or maybe wanting a cut of the money you're going to be getting or something like that. There's just kind of a shady energy here that I don't like. But some of you, that's your story. For others, I feel like this is actually just an energy where you are on the path to getting financial abundance and success and everything that you want, but you don't want to get stuck in hierophant energy and... Um, you know, this is like society and regulations and basically just thinking inside the box. Like, you know, this is how it's done. I have to, I have to work a nine to five job. I have to do this. I have to do that. That's how I'm going to make money. Uh, you know, higher front would be like kind of like a controlled stagnant type of energy is how I always see this card just because it's connected to society and groups and And regulations and for some of you this could be a group that's going to lead you to this abundance like a group I don't know what it would be like a group project or something or a group effort I don't know what that would mean but and it's not saying for sure that this is a no-go it's just saying that you need to find a balance and you need to use your intuition and make a judgment call about this so be two steps ahead of the game if you know what this is be two steps ahead you know this could be like a like a band or something offers, you know, invites you to to, you know, be the lead singer of the band or something, but they want you to do all the work. And so you're going to have to be two steps ahead of them and outsmart them basically and set boundaries and you you know what I mean? Like you're going to you're going to want to know what's going on beforehand. You're going to want to be intuitive enough to to make this judgment call um for others though like i was saying this could just be an energy this could be like society and you know outdated ways of thinking that you have like maybe it's time for you to get out of this stagnant energy and it's time for you to be creative and open and brave and put yourself out there again you know, in regards to business or in regards to, to love, to, to maybe everything in your life. Like it's, it's time to get off a traditional path. Like maybe you've been on a traditional path. You've been trying to make money the traditional way. You've been trying to do things. You've been trying to fit in with society. You've been trying to tr go along with the rules of society, trying to almost play small and fit in here. And that energy might be, you know, kind of keeping you from your Ten of Pentacles. So it's saying, like, make a judgment call. Is this path right for you? So whatever this is, whether this is like an energy of this is Hierophant. So look up the Hierophant card, too. If you're not familiar with tarot, look up the Hierophant and read up on the Hierophant and what it means to you. Because your guides are asking you to make a judgment call regarding the energy of the Hierophant. 
that you're in. They're asking you to make a judgment call regarding the Hierophant. And, you know, like I said, this could be a person, this could be a group, um, an organization or something that's offering you something that could lead to financial abundance, but they might also try to manipulate you and take a part of that um, or kind of keep you down. This is, or this could also be, like I said, for, for the, the other group, I feel like this is just an energy of um, narrow-minded thinking of, um, you know, playing small, fitting in with society, doing things a certain way that could be keeping you stuck. So whatever the higher font means to you, like whatever, read up on it and use your own. This is a good test for you guys. If you're developing your intuition too, um, this is a good test for you to read up on the higher font and find out what it means to you. Because these cards are, you know, tarot cards and oracle cards, they're always subjective. Like I can read like when I, when I put them out, it always, I interpret them as what they mean to me. So the Hierophant, you know, I mean, I can look at the guidebook and yes, it means society and it means traditions, but whenever I pull this out, I see it as someone that's, um, like controlling or being controlled. And so my guides use this card to mean control or being controlled, um, because they know that's what it means to me. So that's when I pull this card, that's what it means. You know what I mean? Um, so like if you, if you guys use tarot or oracle cards, you really, yes, you want to read the definitions of the cards, but you also want to figure out what they mean to you intuitively, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, read up on the, on the hair front because your guys are asking you to make a judgment call regarding the hair front. And if you make this judgment call, and again, for some of you, it's going to be, some of you are meant to go forward with this. Some of you are meant to not go forward. So you need to develop your intuition here and trust it and really do some soul searching regarding this offer. And if you do go for this offer, it could lead to financial abundance, whatever this is, but it's just saying, um, be mindful of your surroundings because there could be untrustworthy people around at the same time that want to get some of that money from you. So you need to protect your finances right now and be kind of cautious, you know, because there could be some some sneaky intentions there. But like I said, for some of you, this is just that you've been doing things a certain way, like kind of just on autopilot, just numb, just, you know, just one track mind kind of energy, um, trying to play small. And you need to make a judgment call because you keep going and you keep repeating that same energy. So you need to step back and make a judgment call and decide what energy is really going to get you to where you want to be. And when you make that judgment call, when you really do this soul searching, maybe shadow work even, and you make this judgment call and you figure it out and you get yourself out of stagnant energy, that's when the sun comes, that's, oh my gosh, that is when the sun card comes in. And that is the best card in the deck. That's, you know, love, money, abundance, just free, see the rose like fall, falling behind her dress, like everything, just, just pure happiness, like just success in all areas of your life and a love offer too on top of it, Ace of Cups. And this is also just like romantic, nostalgic, free-spirited, happy, uh, you know, idealistic kind of energy is how I see the Ace of Cups. So getting in this energy as a result of making this judgment call, it's like you're setting yourself free. You're basically being called to take a deeper look at whatever this is and, um, Make a judgment call and set yourself free. I hope that makes sense. Because like I said, for some of you, you should do this, but you need to be mindful of who's around you and you need to kind of outsmart them and you need to shield yourself. You know what I mean? Like this could be a good opportunity, but it might just be that you have to be mindful of your surroundings. And you have to be, maybe, maybe there's just certain people around you that are not trustworthy and others are trustworthy. I also feel like it's talking about um, temperance here. Temperance is like balance. Like don't completely dive in, but don't completely say screw it either. It's like find a good, healthy balance between logic and emotion, you know, um, pessimism and optimism, you know, dark and light. Just find that healthy balance and be logical at the same time. Um, hold on. 
for others of you, I kind of feel like with the Hierophant here and then Temperance here, it could have been someone that was trying to control you financially and you need to have a balance. And we have Five of Cups, Three of Wands, and King of Swords. So I kind of see that as you letting go of, and this might not be for, this part might not be for everybody, but some of you might be letting go of someone that wanted to build with you because you're realizing they're not trustworthy and they don't have good intentions. Let me, let me actually clarify this. Clarify the Five of Cups, Three of Wands, and King of Swords. Page of Cups. The Hermit. Chariot. Maybe you kind of let this go like you were sad. Oh my gosh, all my cards just fell. I'm not okay with that. <laughs> Clumsy girl problems. Okay, anyway, what I was saying... Maybe you look, because I'm looking at this mermaid. I'm trying to like, look, this is a confusing energy because this person, your person I feel like is hot and cold and it makes it confusing. Like when psychics channel people like this, it makes it confusing because I'm like, what, the, what is wrong with this person? What is wrong with your person? <laughs> Five of Cups though. Okay, so like see the mermaid, she's watching the ship sail away and you can tell she's sad. Like if you look at the picture of her, like she looks upset. Like she wants to chase the ship, but she's stopping herself because she loves herself. She doesn't want to do that to herself anymore. Or he doesn't want to do him that to himself anymore. It could be male or female. But this person does not want to chase that ship anymore. They're tired of it because the ship keeps sailing further and further away. And they don't want to chase it because it's like, it's lonely. It's painful. Like, you know what I mean? Like they want someone that comes to them. Like they want to be pursued themselves. They want that ship to come back around and get them and take, you know, take them with it. Like they don't want to chase. They don't want to, it's lonely chasing, you know, having to chase someone and have them not be there for you and just having to chase and chase and chase and having being ignored and rejected and pushed away. It's just too lonely and painful. So this person is letting the ship sail away, even though it hurts them to let it sail away. You know what I mean? Because they, they know that they deserve someone that's going to be there for them. And they just, it, it's not like they want to watch it sail away. It's not like they want to lose this person, but it's like, they just don't have the energy. It's like, she's tired. You know, she's on this rock. She's like exhausted. She doesn't have the energy to chase this person anymore, you know? Like, she doesn't, she just doesn't have it in her. It's like, this person could come back if they want, but she's not gonna chase them, you know? And it's kind of like that, like, you, you got to this point where you're like, I'm not gonna chase this person. I can't do it anymore. It's too lonely, it's too painful. I can't handle the rejection and the heartbreak anymore. If this person wants to come back, that's awesome, but if they don't, they don't. And it's almost like this person comes back around wanting to build something with you like maybe like a business or something like wanting to build you know like a love off and then also wanting to build this could be working on your relationship and also wanting to build like possibly a business with you but you have to question if how much you trust this because with the the energy we got in the first spread in the king of swords the king of swords is someone who's kind of harsh kind of um it's, this isn't a romantic king this is someone who's more logical more head over heart, um, could be more business oriented, more, um, set in their ways, kind of strict. So this person might be wanting to come back around and build something with you. And again, this could be a relationship that they're wanting to build, or it could be a business partnership they're wanting to build, or it could be both, but they might be kind of set in their ways. They might have like a strict set way that they want to do it. Like we're going to do it my way. And there might almost be um, a warning here about them trying to, like, manipulate you and, um, like, go into business with you. But then they, like, want to take some, like, take the majority of the money or they want to almost, like, piggyback off your success kind of energy is what I'm getting here. So there's a warning here about that to be mindful of that. If this person comes back around, this person that left you and broke your heart or ghosted you or whatever they did, if they come back around all of a sudden, be mindful because they might be coming back around because they notice that you're successful now and they're wanting a piece of that. They might want to come back around and use you for money. This person might be having some issues with their housing or financial issues and they're seeing that you're doing well and so they might be wanting to come back around and um, 
basically just use you for a place to stay or use you for money. So be mindful of that because the energy is very inconsistent. It's like hermit energy and then chariot. Like they're alone and isolated and then all of a sudden moving forward. So it's like, mm, I don't trust that. I don't trust that energy very much, you know? And this could be the person that we were getting in the first spread. Remember I was saying like there could be something here. Like there could be, we got the Ten of Pentacles. So there could be success for you here, but... If this is this person that's coming back, and again, it's going to be different for everybody. For some of you, it's a group that's coming around. For some of you, it's just a job offer from someone else. For some of you, it's um, just some type of a success or business or just bas basically something that would make you money, but it involves other people. But you have to be mindful because they might try to piggyback off your success or they might try to manipulate you or take some of your money or steal from you. So you have to be very careful. Um, but for others, like I said, the higher font just represents, you know, for a lot of you, it probably just the higher font just represents like society and traditional ways of doing things. And you're trying to make money, but you have a set way of doing it. Like I'm going to work this job till I'm 60 and I'm going to do it this way, this way, this way, and just kind of being set in your ways. And it's telling you to take a step back and make a judgment call and use your intuition and step out of that energy and realize that there's other ways that you can make money too. You know, be more creative, be more open-minded. And when you make that judgment call, that's when the sun comes in and you had, um, what was it? The ace of cups after that too. So it's like success in all areas of your life and also a love offer on top of that. So the emphasis of this reading was basically you know, looking into the Hierophant energy and then making a judgment call regarding whatever the Hierophant means to you, um, whatever you feel it, rep you, you know, this is a test to use your own intuition too. For those of you that are developing your intuition, I feel like your guides are testing you through this reading to start using your own intuition too. Because a lot of times I just give you the answers, but this reading actually calls for you to seek your own answers as well, which is really interesting how they did that. Because I'm getting a few different stories here. I'm getting it's like the same energy, but the but the some of you want to go for this and some of you don't want to go for this. So your guides are kind of testing you to use your own intuition. So you need to look into the hierophant is what I'm getting. And you need to make a judgment call regarding that energy. And you need to set yourself free. That was the main emphasis of the reading is is um, making the judgment call that's going to set yourself free. And then not only does it set you free, but it pushes you forward to money, abundance, a love offer, everything you want. Because for some of you, the King of Swords is someone you want to work with, but you have to outsmart them and kind of not let them hustle you and not let them dictate how things are going to go because it could be a power struggle. For others, you don't even want to work with them at all. So you have to use your own intuition to, to figure out who is this person to you and can you trust them and how much can you trust them, you know, because you're going to want to set boundaries with this person. Because I do feel like this person, you know, that left you and hurt you might want to come back around and work on this with you. But their motives might be questionable. Some of them might be wanting to, to piggyback off your success or use you for money. Others are genuinely wanting to go into business with you. But they're going to want to do things their own way. And they're going to be kind of stubborn and set in their ways. And so you might not want to do that because you might have your own, your own path and your own ideas that you want to manifest. And so you might not want to go down this person's path because they, they seem kind of strict. Tell me more about the King of Swords. And they seem kind of hot, cold, but the hermit chariot, it's like, are you, are you isolating and alone or are you coming forward? Like make up your mind. Final battle. Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords, traditionally, it's like someone has these someone has these swords all around them. They have their castle and their abundance right in front of them, but they can't see it because they're focusing on the swords around them. And that's kind of the energy I get with this spread. It's like your love and abundance and happiness and everything you want is right in front of you, but you have these swords around you that you keep focusing on. And this really calls for creative and intuitive thinking that you just need to go forward. You know, you need to stop looking at the swords. Tell me more about the King of Swords here. Getting out of poverty. You are getting out of financial issues finally. Um, it's a slow but, 
been a slow process. It has been a slow process. I I shouldn't say it is a slow process. It's been a slow process for you, but it's stable. This is more long term. You know what I mean? It's like working towards something. It might have taken you longer, but this is going to be more, uh, it's going to be longer lasting. You know what I mean? It's not like overnight success, but it's really, it's good. You know, it might be overnight success now. Maybe it's, maybe you worked, maybe you've been working at this for years and now it's finally happening for you. Yeah. Putting down heavy burdens, responsibilities. There's really a strong need for, yeah, the magician for creative thinking, um, out, out of the box thinking, um, again, some of you, you, you're being called to use your intuition for this reading. So you, you need to decide who, who is the king of swords to you could be an air sign. Um, for some of you, I would look into the king of swords too, and see who this represents to you. This could be male or female could be some, just a female that's in masculine energy, you know, but look into this energy and, and intuitively decide, you know, make that judgment call. Do you want to trust this? If this comes back around, do you want to trust them and go into business with them? Or do they have some shady, sneaky kind of intentions? Because like I said, some of them are having housing issues or financial issues and they, that's why they're coming back around. So you need to be two steps ahead of them and be like, nope. So please be mindful of that. <laughs> Please be aware of that energy and make that judgment call. Um, let me know if anything doesn't make sense because I know this was kind of a strange reading. So just, yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. Oh, and if it resonates and you want a reading, my email address is below. Just send me an email and subscribe if it resonates. Thank you.